In today's video, we are testing out four of your comment requests to see just what sort of things might happen. Guys, over the years we've had a lot of comment requests and some of them are things that we'd like to try but aren't necessarily big enough for a whole video, so we think we've come up with a fun solution. We've sorted through a few comments and we found some that seem like pretty interesting suggestions, so we want to see what's going to happen because if you're curious about it, we are too. Here's the basic idea, we'll see if nitrogen vapors can put out an electric arc. We'll try super glue versus a hydrophobic surface. We'll see what happens when you microwave gallium, and we're going to learn what happens when you mix the liquid from a glow stick with dry ice. The four comments that we're going with today. First, we've got Vrocknockman. I don't know what language that's based on <laughs> or game, but they wanted to know if we could put out an electric arc using nitrogen vapor. So we're going to use some liquid nitrogen to get those vapors, and we're going to use our arc furnace to create the arc. Okay, we have our arc furnace, or at least we have the pieces that make the arc in the arc furnace. I guess the furnace part would be the little brick, but we don't have much use for that right now. So we're just going to be trying to make vapors. So we've got liquid nitrogen and a little bit of warm water to make sure we get lots of vapor coming off of that. This isn't really a two-person activity. It's not really safe, so... You can be on the switch. I'm going to be on the switch. Okay. In nitrogen vapor. Whoa! Um, so I don't think it put out the arc. That seemed to be working pretty well. There is another thing that we can try. I am going to see what happens if I touch these underneath liquid nitrogen. <laughs> well, it bubbles with liquid nitrogen a lot. Is there, is there black smoke there pouring off of that? There is black smoke. Normally, yes, you see like the plumes of liquid nitrogen coming up, but we had a plume of black smoke and then it came down and actually mixed with the liquid nitrogen vapors. That was really cool. All right, just one more test. I'm gonna pour some water in so we've got like the thicker white vapors coming off of there. I'll just try the arc in that. That'll be our last test with these. You're still getting black smoke. Still getting black smoke? Yeah. In that case, I think the black smoke is the uh, jacket that's around these carbon rods yeah. and it's just burning. Now, I think we want to try, you know, going for nitrogen vapors again, but we want to use the other source of electric arc. That's right, that's the taser, what you're not going to taser anyone with. It's all you. Oh, oh it's well, it's louder. louder. I don't okay, know if that's, that's just because it's a bowl. bowl. I assume that's because it's a bowl shape, yeah. but wow, that's louder. Holy cow. Sounds like a machine gun. It going does. Off. All right, I'm going to actually put it into the liquid nitrogen itself. Whoa. Did it stop? It went out. I didn't take my finger off of it. We've got one more source of electric arc, and that is a Tesla coil. This thing's pretty neat. You plug it in, and it just starts making sparks out of the little pointy part. It's getting so much brighter when you do that. It's turning pink, and like I the know. shape is changing. It gets yeah, shorter round. and more, yeah, a little more. What if we just get some more vapor happening here? It's harder to see it. Yeah. Not much change in reaction. We killed it. Okay. Come back. Come back. <laughs> so we've killed our Tesla coil and our taser. Oh, it restored. Purple, pink. Maybe that's less we're putting it in nitrogen and more that it's we're taking it out of oxygen. Our next request comes from, I believe this is pronounced heroic. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Super glue versus hydrophobic surface. So we've got a few here that we want to try. First up, we have this block of silicone. This is a mold. This is our uh, silver play button mold with a Lego border around it. We've then got some parchment paper, which is paper that's actually treated with a silicone coating. And we've got two on this piece of cardboard over here. This spray sealant and a brush-on polyurethane varnish and so uh, all of these should repel water at least a little bit. We're going to try dripping some water on, see how hydrophobic they are, and then try the super glue and see if it repels the super glue. Okay, well, already that soaked right in. Um, well, no, it's still there. It's not beating up the same. 
Okay, definitely soaked in a little bit through. But not still... bad. No, surprisingly not bad. Brush on polyurethane. Nothing. That looks like it worked pretty well. It's pretty nice and waterproof. So we're gonna have just a drop of super glue, just see how it reacts to the surface itself, and then we're actually gonna try and glue our popsicle sticks to the surfaces and see if that actually bonds. It's a lot of super glue. Like that slightly smaller drop just because, yeah, we don't wanna be here all day. Just waiting for these to cure. I've got baking soda, I'm just gonna try and cure all the super glue and we'll see how well it's sticking to things. Obviously, it's only gonna really cause it to cure where it's in contact with it, so if it's underneath the popsicle sticks. Did that just fall off? Yeah, I was trying to like shake the extra. This dot also just came oh up, but it is also not cured all the way through, so this thin part, this I think is probably cured all the way through, and let's see if I can do it just, oh, with just a fingernail, that is coming right off. So, super glue on our silicone, not so much. Moving on to our silicone covered paper. Well, that <laughs> also just came right off. Maybe try and cure that. What? No. Also just came right this off. This is paper. I'm confused. Silicone coated paper. But those weren't completely cured. This little bit should be. <laughs> and it just what? comes right off. So the silicone coating on parchment paper makes it particularly difficult to super glue it. You glued your finger to that cardboard, didn't you? One of the crew members told me to. Your, your glove you know is definitely ruined. <laughs> Hang on, this is fine. You this got is... three of the trap, well done. Okay, there you go, please continue. All right, so that, I mean, it, ah. it held on a little bit and then kind of gave up. Let's try this blob, the little dot. That broke off, but again, not completely cured underneath. Yeah. Try a completely cured piece. Well, already it's, you know, you can scrape it off easy. Popsicle stick, still liquid on the inside. Bubble, also still liquid. This is a very thick super glue. But Ooh, these thin layers. Yeah, the thin layers where it's actually cured all the way. Cool experiment, cool idea. On to the next one. Langdon Waters wants to see what happens if we microwave gallium. We've got gallium, we've got a microwave, let's find out. All right, putting gallium in a microwave. And hope it doesn't explode. I bet it sparks. Whoa! Sparking very pretty purple. I know, it kind of reminds me of when we make plasma. A lot like that. Oh, is it actually melting or is it burning? It's hard to tell. Oh, and oh. we made We did plasma. make plasma. Yes. Well, we're getting flames, so that makes Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Our bowl broke. <laughs> All right, so now I think we should liquefy a little bit yeah. and put that in the microwave too. The longer it goes, the more afraid I am. Well, that's amazing. What color is that? I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> So we did get sparking and arcing, and when we had the gallium poured down into the glass, there was a little film that formed on the side because the glass wasn't super hot, and that's just what gallium does. And I think that's where the arcing was taking place. So the puddle itself seemed to be what we were thinking. Yeah. It was all rounded edges, and it didn't have any jagged spots or places for an arc to form, and it didn't really seem to form an arc there. It was just those little splashed up on the side bits. But at the end, we did have some some, it wasn't plasma, we had something that was glowing at the top of yeah, the gallium, it was, it and that was, like was awesome. orange. Whatever was arcing and sparking right there, I think that was what killed the glass. For our last comment and request, Carmine asked, dry ice in glow fluid. Well, that sounds fun. We're gonna try that. Um, all right, so before we actually mix them, I want to put a drop of this onto the dry ice, let it freeze, and then take a drop of the other stuff. I wanna see if it'll glow while freezing. That looks super cool. So we created a sunspot. I've never been so happy about something in my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my new favorite thing in the history of ever. Right, we've got a good orange glow happening here. That's bright. So now, 
We want to put dry ice in the glow fluid as was requested. We put some glow fluid on dry ice. Now we're gonna put dry ice in glow fluid. We've got a chunk of it and then we've got a bunch of little pieces and some dust. What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, I think it's not gonna do much right away but it is gonna start getting dimmer. Yep, I think it's gonna kill the brightness until it warms back up again. That's what we were noticing with it before. So let's find out. Oh, also it will bubble. Oh yeah, that part. Wow, wow, okay, so the little tiny chunks are my favorite part because it's it's making it dimmer at the top, so it's going very, very dark red. It reminds me of cooling lava. Look at it from the sides. Because at the top, it, it's gone crusty. Yeah. Well, because it's floating. If you, uh, if you look at the top while I lift this up, you can see like darker color flowing off of it a little bit. It's not a huge change, but so we've got like the bubbling, glowing. So it's so cold right now. It's turned into like a goo. Wait, wait, I want a piece of that. As it heats up. <laughs> and it's glowing again. This video has ended. There's another video if you click that box. There's the Battlestar Galactica. <laughs>